Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the best irons to buy in 2021. Now this is going to include all of the new products which have just been launched these last few months, all of the latest gear, but we are also going to be looking at some of last year's and the previous year's gear and see what may be the best price, what is worth checking out, and what could be the best value for money, and I will be giving you my answer of where I would be putting my money if I was looking to buy a new set of irons right now. Now we just did a driver version of this where I gave you the driver that I would buy right now out of all the latest products, all of last year's too and you guys can check that video out on my channel but today we are talking about irons so let's dive straight in i am on clubhouse uh, golf.co.uk as a retailer here in the uk I have a bunch of different golf stuff and we're going to start out in the 600 pounds plus price point so this is obviously going to be the more premium products um, we're going to start out here we're going to work our way down i will be giving you some of my thoughts and opinions on you know slight differences in handicap because obviously i like to play a smaller maybe a bladed iron or a very very thin cavity back but i will be giving you my opinions on maybe some more game improvement irons as well and what might be good for certain handicaps so the first we have is the callaway apex 21 golf irons now i did a full video reviewing the new technology in these irons if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend checking it out because these irons are packed full of technology and actually at £859, I wouldn't say they're that expensive if I'm honest. Um, and the other thing with them is they suit quite a wide variety of golfers, not just the Apex, but also the Apex Pro and all of the Apex lineup. There's about, I think it's five or six or something different irons in the Apex line. And I'm sure you would be able to get combo sets between these irons. So that is already a great start right there because you have players irons, uh, more game improvement and forgiveness irons and distance irons all within that lineup that you could really blend your set out. But let's move on from that. Let's have a look at what else is on the table. We've got the Cobra Rad Speed Golf Irons. To be honest, I haven't really heard much about these. Um, I wouldn't say they're particularly expensive at £649, but, you know, moving on, because I really don't know much about them. Honma TRX Golf Irons. Wow, they look, they look really, really good, and obviously premium price for those blades. That, to me, looks like a tempting iron to hit. I, uh, I look at that and I'm, I'm drawn in straight away. Now, moving down, we've got the Mizuno JPX uh, lineup. We've got the hot metal irons here. Mizuno, whenever you're talking about golf irons, you have to mention Mizuno. They make some of the best feeling golf irons in the world. They always perform well. You can never really go wrong buying a Mizuno set of irons, as long as you're custom fit for them. I think they're almost the safest brand to go for to buy a set of irons from, just because they're very desirable, so anyone playing with you is always going to be jealous of them. And they age pretty well, they don't really lose their looks or look very old very quickly, so definitely a good option there. Uh, Ping G425 irons. Again, I don't really know much about these. They look like a pretty chunky kind of game improvement iron, £689. I'll move on from there. I don't really know too much about them, and they don't really catch my eye. So we've got Strix in here, TaylorMade Sim 2 irons. I mean, TaylorMade, some of their, their Sim 2 irons and Sim irons and all the all these game improvement irons they've brought out, they go for miles. They, they are so unbelievably long-hitting. Um, they, like, if you want an iron to go a long way, you've probably got it right there. You do have to remember the lofts are cranked down a lot. They're like two, like a seven iron is more like a five iron loft really in some of their irons, but they launch extremely high uh, because of some of the technology in them. So if you're really looking for max forgiveness, max distance, always a good option there. At 699, I wouldn't say they're that expensive either for an irons. If I'm thinking about irons, I'm probably thinking, probably anywhere between, a th anywhere over a thousand is pretty premium. Anywhere under a thousand from like 800 to, a thousand is kind of like I would say middle ground in my opinion and anywhere less than that isn't 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 a little bit but like I don't know maybe maybe iron prices are coming down because these these all seem to be under that range that I would be expecting to pay for irons um so yeah here we go let's keep scrolling down keep going again we've got the apex pro 21s there they look unbelievably good I used to have the Callaway apex uh 16s so like five years ago or something, and I still have them upstairs, they're my backup set of irons, because I know I can always pick them up and hit them well. They just, they look good, they perform well, they do everything I need. Um, here we go, Cobra Rad Speed, one length. Well, if you want one length irons, you really only have one brand to turn to, and that is Cobra. Looks like these are a bit more expensive than the others, which I guess you'd kind of expect if they're more of a uh, limited product. Honma, again, you know, pretty, ex uh, you know, premium price point, we're used to expecting that from Honma. Let's rattle through these, and then let's take a look at some others. Um, the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, again, they're going to be pretty similar to the TaylorMade Sim 2s, they might go a little bit longer and be a little bit more forgiving. Callaway, I mean sorry, Titleist irons, always always a great option, Titleist make great irons. I used to have a set of Titleist uh, CB 
12s, I think. Um, they were really, really nice. I absolutely love them. Um, but here we go, actually. Callaway Apex 21 combo set. Right there, that is a, um, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. A combo set in those Apex would suit a lot of golfers, and within the Apex line, you could mix and match different irons uh, to your needs. So let's keep going. Let's see if anything else catches my eye here. I mean, those Strixon blades look, look pretty cool. Zed Forged uh, irons from Strixon. They are pr pretty premium as well. I wouldn't think Strixon would be that expensive, but a thousand pounds. They do look good, though. They do look good. If I was going to get blades, though, I don't know if I'd get Strixon. I, I don't know what I mean. At the moment, if you haven't seen my What's in the Bag video, maybe check out my What's in the Bag video to see what I'm playing. Here we go. Mizuno MP20 irons. Uh, these are the irons that GM Golf just put in the bag. They are stunning. I've hit them before last a year ago, actually. I have hit them a year ago. Um, there is one reason I wouldn't buy these irons at the moment, and that is because they are a year old, and if I wanted new Mizuno blades, uh, for me, I would keep waiting until they come out, probably towards the end of this year. I would, in, a, in about 10 months' time, I'd expect to see some new Mizuno blades, so I'd feel pretty hard done by if I bought Mizuno MP20 golf irons, and then 10 months later there were some new ones out. But they are great looking, um, you know, even though some of the older Mizuno irons would be worth having a look at 100% when they come down in price, they're still going to be very, very good irons and perform extremely well. Let's rattle through these. I want to get onto some of the lower price points. Uh, here we have Wilson Staff Model CB irons, also an iron worth talking about. Wilson always make great irons. I just did an unboxing of these irons. I've got them upstairs. Um, I haven't had a chance to hit them. We don't have golf courses open in the UK at the moment, but I'm super excited too. And at 689 for a uh, player's iron with some... Uh, performance and forgiveness in there, and I'd imagine they, they're going to feel good. Um, yeah, a great iron again to take a look at. I will be giving you guys my favourite, so make sure make sure you stay tuned to that. Uh, some more Hummer blades look amazing. Mizuno MP20s, great, great irons. Uh, what price are those? £1,000. Again, I'd love a combo set of those, and the blades would look pretty cool. Here we go. Let's, let's just finish through these. Uh, here we go. Callaway Apex TCB irons. If you want a more forgiving iron and a slightly longer iron in the Callaway Apex range, Definitely, we'll look at these. I'm slightly confused between what's the difference between these and the Callaway X Forge that were released. It seems that these might be slightly more of a player's iron than the X Forge, but Callaway have released a bunch of new irons. It's, I mean, it's actually unbelievable how many irons they've released. It's kind of almost difficult to put yourself into just one of the irons in just one category. So let's keep going. Here we go. Uh, Mizuno driving iron, uh, tailor-made. Oh no, sorry, that's the Mizuno uh, hollow-headed iron. They are expensive. I mean, they look good, but definitely expensive. TaylorMade P790 irons, another iron we just have to mention. They suit so many players, they feel amazing, they look amazing, they go a long way, they're forgiving. Everything you need in an iron right there, and that is a pretty reasonable price to pay for them, 859. So not a bad option. Now let's keep going, get through these, and then I want to get on to some cheaper ones. We do have a page two here, I'm going to get through them pretty quickly. Um, so we've got Ping i i500 irons. Um, they were released quite a while ago, I'm kind of interested, I guess, they haven't dropped down too much in price, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. They, they look good. I've heard they feel good. I haven't used them myself. I can't comment on them too much, but good looking iron. Maybe if you have tried them, if you have them in the bag, let me know what they're like. I've heard good things, um, but I just don't really have an opinion because I haven't really experienced them. TaylorMade P790 TI irons. That is an expensive price point. Nearly £2,000 for a set of irons. You'd be expecting a lot from that, and for, for that money, I, I'm not sure I could justify spending that on a set of irons, which I don't think would really perform that much better. Let's keep going. Cobra King Tour. Cobra aren't really known for their irons, so I'm going to kind of skip past them, just because I also haven't hit them. If I'd hit them and I had an opinion, I'd give it to you guys, but Ping Blueprint Irons, these would be some irons I would like to try, but they were released a while ago, and they haven't dropped down in price that much. £1,200, basically, and yeah, I'd, I'd kind of be waiting for the next ones. Um, Titleist CB Irons, great irons. Callaway Epics, I mean, again, they are, they're great irons, but quite expensive here. Let's keep going. TaylorMade P770s, maybe if you do feel the P790s would go a little bit long for you and you're a bit of a better player, these would be an option to go. But here we go, Titleist 620 MB Golf Iron. That is a clean, clean, clean looking blade right there. That definitely gets my attention, gets the thumbs up from me. I would love to try that out, looks great. Uh, Cobra combo set. I do like a combo set, by the way, guys. Um, I think combo sets actually could suit a lot of people. A bit more forgiving in the longer irons, a um, bit you know, less forgiving in the shorter irons. I think that works in my mind. TaylorMade um, P7MC golf irons. Now, these are what Rick Shields is using at the moment, so you'd, I haven't hit them again. I have the P760s, which is like the previous version of them, and they were good irons, but I can't really give you my opinion. But if Rick Shields is using them, they, they should be a very, very good iron. And 859, not a bad price either. Let's keep going. TaylorMade P760s, 859. Um... I'm surprised they're not cheaper, actually, considering that the, you know, if we go back to the P7MCs, they're exactly the same price, and the P760s are quite a lot older. TaylorMade P70Ws, oh, a friend of mine has these. They look unbelievable. I have hit them before. They're, they feel incredible. I, if I bought them, I'm not sure I could justify using them, though, because they look incredible. They're more of, like, a wall mantelpiece, but unbelievable. If you're a TW fan, you know, right there, £1,800, and... Uh, worth every penny. I mean, that is an iron that, that is probably the only really premium iron 
I, I would think is almost worth it. And that is just because the exclusivity of the product and just how cool it is, I just think it's awesome. Not, it's not gonna be that great performing or anything like that. So let's go back, let's put in the filter. I wanna lower the price point down. I'm gonna include, let's, let's go bargain basement, 300 to 400. And yeah, let's go for that. Let's take a look at some really budget irons here quickly. And then we're gonna talk about the mid range and I will be giving you guys my opinion. Or I'm gonna try and wrap this up fairly quickly because I can feel this dragging a little bit. TaylorMade, uh, sorry, Wilson Staff D7. Great for giving iron. I've heard a lot about it. Game improvement irons on a budget. It's a good option. Definitely good. We've only got two in this category to talk about anyway. Callaway XR irons. Have no opinion on them. Haven't hit them. Don't think they look great. Let's go back and let's go filter. I'm going to just include the next two price ranges so we can get it done in one go. Cleveland, don't really have an opinion on those. Wilson Staff D99s, I have these upstairs to review. I will be reviewing them at some point and that's when I will give you my thoughts and opinions. 469, pretty reasonable price for a good, you know, Wilson known for making good irons. Might be worth a look. So let's keep going, keep going. None of these are really appealing that much. Keep going. Some of these I feel like we've already seen. We may have covered most of them to be fair. Cobra King Forged, um, you know, that is last year's model. And if you want a one length iron on a budget, pretty much right there, there you go. Uh, Callaway Rogue Irons, I haven't hit them. They look quite cool. And that's pretty much all the irons. Most of them seem to be in that uh, 600 pound plus category. So I'm gonna go back to that and I'm gonna select the irons which I would use in well, which I would buy in this day and age right now. If it was my money, I wanted a new set of irons. This is where I'd put my money. I think Callaway Apex is a really, really good option. I think for a lot of people, that's a great option. Honma, every time I scroll past those blades, they just scream, hit me. Um, keep going. Again, Honma blades, you look great. Ugh. All right, what have we got? What would I be spending my money on? Callaway Apex. Yeah, good option there. I'm I'm so st I'm so torn. I'm, I have kind of a f two options in my head, and I'm quite torn between them. One of them is this option. One of them is the Callaway Apex 21 Combo Golf Irons. Uh, so this is a combo set between the Apex and the Apex Pro. Now, if I was to go for this option, I wouldn't be getting the combo set between the Apex and the Apex Pro. I'd be getting the Apex MBs and the Apex Pros, if that makes sense, or maybe even the Apex TCBs, depending how they are. They do look quite cool. Um, so yeah, that's a great option there. I do also like the new X-Forged irons from Callaway. I think they look cool. They're a little bit longer, a little bit chunkier, but still look really, really great and a good player's iron. So it, that's my first option, is to get a combo set of Callaway Apex in MB and and then the Apex Pros. Really good option there. I think you could not go wrong. I, I could see myself hitting those irons very, very, very well. That really stands... I think that we're going to call that the sensible decision. That is over here. That is the sensible decision to get the combo set of those. But if I was not being sensible, what would I get? Well, Mizuno MP20s would be tempting, but they are, I still, just because I know more would be coming out soon, um, I, I, it stops me from really going for them. What, if I was really not being sensible, this is what I would get. I would get, we're gonna go onto page two, if I was really not being sensible, th this is pure desire, pure desire, I would get the TaylorMade P7 TW irons. <laughs> nearly 1,800 pounds. They're almost a thousand pounds more than the sensible option we put over here. But they're not a product that, if you're buying them, you're not, no one can ever say they bought the TaylorMade P7 TW irons because they were the best performing iron for them. It's not true. You can't get custom fit for them unless you bought them and then took them to a shop and swapped out the shafts. But then you're also kind of just ruining the exclusivity and design of the product because they were designed, you know, by uh, TaylorMade and also Tiger Woods. So, that's what I'd be going for. Um, you have my two answers there, the combo set with the Apex and the TWs. I would love to have both. These are going to be the safe option, the performance iron. They're going to perform well. If I care about what score I am using, that's the go-to. You can't go wrong. You can't argue with it. That is the right answer. But if what you care about is enjoying golf the most, and, and you have the money, that's, that's an important thing. You don't want to be, you know, selling your... Uh, kidneys or, or anything to be able to afford those irons but if you had the money and you wanted just to enjoy your golf clubs the most i think it would have to be the TaylorMade p7 tw irons yeah so there you go i couldn't quite make up my mind two options for you there but i have showed you a bunch of other options that are great for players and also game improvement and forgiveness irons at quite a wide range of price points as well so i hope you guys have learned something from this video let me know what irons you guys are going to be testing out, what you're going to be putting in the bag, maybe what you've just put in the bag as well. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Comment them down below. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Grip it and rip it.